promise you, you only need one video to take to take you viral. You only need one. You only need one video that's going that will take you from 75 subscribers to 2,000 subscribers. It don't matter you know what the other person struggle was. It don't matter what they did or didn't have to do. This your story. This what you got to go through. Stick with it. Manifest. You have to do what nobody else is doing and beat them to the punch. Okay? Beat them to the punch. What's up, family? What's up, family? How y'all doing this beautiful afternoon? So as y'all can see by the title, um, I want to talk about how i became monetized y'all go ahead and make sure y'all subscribe for me please make sure you subscribe like and share it so that other people can see you know this content if you really like it you know it ain't gonna hurt to hit that subscribe button for your girl it ain't gonna hurt to hit that like button for me please i appreciate you thank so, you so um how i became monetized so actually let me tell you let me give y'all a little backstory i started off my youtube um let me let me go back and look let me make sure i'm right when i say this right i started my i did i uploaded my first youtube video november 26 2021 so it was it was the end of uh 2021 um i really started getting active with it um the end of december really yeah the end of december like i was doing when I first initially started off, I was just doing like weekly uh, vlogs, uh, just coming on and just doing whatever I thought. At first, I was just doing, um, I was doing like inspirational videos and just, you know, just, I was in a space at that time. Y'all, hold on. So I was in a space at that time where I was just like, you know, I was starting to do meditation and all that stuff. So I was, I was in that type of space, right? During that time, um. So that's what I was doing. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't consistent. I was doing one once a week, you know. I had a lot of other stuff going on, right? Um, so I started off with just doing random stuff. And then um, as time progressed, I started off doing, I, I mean, I did um, cooking videos. So I did a lot of cooking videos. And then I transitioned into, um, I did vlogs. I've always done vlogs. And I do foster care as well so i was you know those were the main things that i did i did vlogs cooking videos hair videos and foster care just talking about my you know my journey through foster care right um so all of that was good but i'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all okay and i leave all my videos are up there too so i want y'all to see you know y'all can definitely see how i increased in what i did um to get um get basically put in an algorithm where people could see my uh, my my content so um uh, i did that and then actually what i did was in december i believe it was december of 2022 is when i started to get like real serious um uh, so like i said i was supposed to like once a week or something like that the 21st I mean, um, November 21st, 2021 in November. And then, you know, I transitioned at the end of December. That's when I really started getting serious. And I was doing it like every day. I I, I, started, I did Vlogtober. So once I did Vlogtober, I was like, okay, you know, I can do this. Like, because I wasn't consistent. I liked the Vlogtober, but I just, I didn't have a, I really didn't have a niche which is my first thing I want to tell y'all. You need to, you definitely need to have. Some people say you don't have, you don't need to. I feel like you do have to have a niche. It's something that's going to make you stand out from the rest. People are going to come find you off of that niche that you have. That's going to push you into the algorithm easier. YouTube can say, okay, this is what she does. This is what they do. And then you get pushed. You want to find a niche, okay? Um, I hadn't had one, like I said. The cooking was doing, it was okay. But I'm a, y'all, so for my YouTube channels, uh, I mean, for my videos, even with me doing cooking, 
And my thumbnails were good. You need to have good thumbnails, good titles as well. My thumbnails were good. My titles were good. But it wasn't pushing in the algorithm. And that probably was because of the, the, the uh, my location and what people want to see in my location, right? Um, so my videos were only doing, no lie, I was probably getting 10, 15 views, 39 views, 50 views. Y'all, when I got 50 views, I was like, oh my goodness, look at me eat. I was so geeked up, y'all, about getting them doggone 50 views because, like I said, I only did like 10 views, 5 views, and I was okay with it. You got okay? Don't get me wrong, I was okay with it. So long as somebody was viewing my stuff, right? But you can't do that if you're trying to be monetized, okay? So, like I said, boom, I was doing that. Um, for I was doing it, the, 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 the vlog October, then I started getting into, um, I was doing hauls. Hauls were, the hauls were, were, started to give me a little traction, right? Hall started giving me a little traction. So from like October, I started really doing like October of um 2000. Let me see. Don't give me a line, you girl, because I, I, I don't want I don't wanna say the wrong thing, right? I want to give y'all the correct information. And it's easy for me to find. I'm just looking up on my uh laptop because it's easy for me to find because I just I actually just got monetized, right? Um, so April of this year, y'all, is when I started to get traction, right? This was August. In May of this year, y'all, I had 75 subscribers. Um, I had 75 subscribers, right? In May, I had 75, April. May, April, May is when I had 75 subscribers. June, um, that was June, um, I believe it was like June the 11th, right? June the 11th. That was, that was my video. I'm gonna put in an iCard and I'm gonna put on a screenshot of the video that I did that really got me, you know, my, my, the subscribers where I was able to get monetized. So that video, I did 40 I had 44,000 views, y'all, on that one video. I posted it June 11th, I think. I had 75 subscribers, like I said. After that, that was June. I mean, let me take it back. It wasn't even June 11th. So I got monetized June 21st. Actually, I got monetized June 19th because I knew it was coming up for um, YouTube to do the payout. I thought I was going to make it that. You know, around the time I posted, I got monetized by June 19th. So June 11th is when I posted it. June 19th, I was monetized, right? Um, I already, at that point, when I was getting the views, I already had 3,300 um, watch hours already, right? right? Because I had a short that I had put up um, when I first initially started my YouTube channel. I had a short, excuse the background, y'all. Sorry for the noise, but I had a short. It was my seafood boil um, sauce. I had I had that short, and that short had did. Uh, I think that was like one of my first, basically like viral. Yeah, I don't know if you want to call it viral, but that's what, it was viral to me, right? I had like twenty some thousand views on that. I had a couple other <clears throat> videos prior to this one. I had like ten thousand views. I had like five thousand views, but this was the only one. And thus far, this has been the only video that I've had that I've, you know, got into 44,000 views on the video. And the video that I did that got me the 44,000 was I was doing, I started doing more reviews, which y'all see my videos now for the most part, I'm always doing reviews. Not only was it the reviews, the reason why I had, I was getting pushed into the algorithm so much is because it wasn't that I was just doing reviews on Timo, okay? It was, I was bringing my personality into the video, right? So, you know, I, I, I'm i real honest. If y'all know, it was my personality. It was a comedy um, aspect of my videos that really, you know, got me 
pushed into the algorithm, right? Because I'm, you know, I'm funny, but I'm, I'm brutally honest. And because I'm so brutally honest, you know, it definitely comes out with comedy. I don't care. But that's what definitely, you know, you definitely want to put, you want to keep your personality in your videos. Um, what I want to say too is that don't try to be like everybody else. I see so many people on here and, you know, they do these videos and you can tell just in their personality that, eh, is that you? You, you, you give me the vibe. Sometimes they give me the vibe like, okay, you've been watching such and such a video. Like you see that in them. So you really got to steer clear too. Like if you are, if you have your niche, you want to steer clear of watching other YouTubers in that same category as you, right? So for instance, for me, I will watch YouTubers that do reviews, but if they're, if they do reviews in the way that I do reviews, as far as like comedy, you know, just talking about stuff, I don't watch them because I don't want, if I like something, you're going to naturally gravitate toward that, right? So you're going to naturally do that on your video and you don't even know that it's coming out. You just be in your head like, where I get that from, huh? Who is that? Girl, you've been watching somebody else's video. That's what that is, right? So you want to make sure that you that you stay clear of that when you're doing your content so that your content comes off very um, authentic. Like you want that authenticity, you know, with your videos, okay? Make sure to do that. Two, uh, if you want to make sure to really, really have good quality when it comes to your videos, right? Even if that's, you know, you don't have to have a camera because I don't use, um, like, cameras like the other YouTubers do. I don't, I don't, I don't need it. I don't, it don't work for me. I like to be able to hold my phone. I have two phones. I have a good quality phones, too, so that my quality of my videos um, is, you know, up to par. Two, you want to make sure, too, that um, your thumbnails, those thumbnails and titles, if you got to put yourself in a mindset as in, you know, we not only the president, I'm not only the player, I'm the player's president, right? Y'all know that? Y'all know that? Let me know. Come on, now. If you don't know Biggie, that's where that come from, right? So you, you got to be able to take yourself out of it. And not think of just as a content creator, but you also have to make sure to know that. Would you watch that? Would you click on it? Does it look entertaining? Does it say to you, as soon as you look at the thumbnail, like, okay, I know exactly what this is. Let me click on that because it's finna be good, right? That's what you want to keep in mind every time that you're putting out a thumbnail. And whatever niche, whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to convey, it needs to convey that off back. When people look at your thumbnail, they shouldn't guess like what is this. When you when you put your uh your title up there, they should automatically know they should go together. Don't put no title on it that has nothing to do with the content that you're putting up there, because then you'll make people mad, right? You're gonna make people mad, and they're gonna be like, what what this kind what this what this title got to do with this content? You better have something in reference to this content, right? You definitely need to have that, right? Okay, um. Another thing is that you want to be consistent, okay? I understand as a small tool because, hey, hey, I'm not a big YouTuber, right? I only have, and let me not say only because, baby, there's 2,000 of my family up in here. You hear me? Two, 21, 23 exactly at this point. So it, I'm not small, right? I don't look at myself as being a small YouTuber. I just look at myself as not being um found yet. That's all. I ain't a small YouTuber. I, I just haven't been found yet. YouTube just ain't put your girl in the algorithm enough just yet, right? Um, But you want to be consistent, okay? Don't get deterred and get, you know, and, and, and feel like, oh, I'm never going to make it. That first hundred, that first hundred subscribers, the first hundred subscribers, the first thousand subscribers is uh mug i like i said i was at 75 subscribers and i started in 
2021 and now it's 2023 and i had 75 subscribers i bust my butt but i was consistent it don't matter whether or not it's 75 subscribers or 75 000 subscribers i'm gonna be me right you're gonna get the same content every time so i did that every time i upload i'm gonna do that i'm consistent you know your subscribers want to know that every time they come to you it's gonna be the same thing you're not gonna switch up you know it's nothing wrong with growing should i say but don't try to be like somebody else because you think that that's you know that's the wave and oh let me do this and oh you know you you, you want to do these aesthetic things and that's fine but you gotta understand that if you change your stuff up yo you want to do aesthetics you may lose a lot of your subscribers that have been down with you you know from day one like okay keep that in mind right um but yeah consistency is, is is definitely the key right um but like i said it, it it only takes one it only takes one video y'all one video for you to go viral uh, and you to get monetized so and while you're doing this and if that's a goal for you while you're doing this make sure that your videos are now even if you aren't monetized make sure those videos are still at that monetization um level where you know you don't don't put copyright music in your videos and say oh well i'm not i'm not i ain't got monetized it don't matter because people will go back to those videos and you know as you climb your subscribers will want to go back and see, you know, what you did prior to this. You can't get monetized off those videos if you have um, video music that has copyright music in it, right? Don't do that. Get you some instrumentals that's not copyrighted, you know. And if, if, if YouTube, if you got to keep pushing, putting it up to YouTube, say, that's good. It put you in the green. That's what you do, okay? You start that now so that it's not hard for you once you become monetized, right? You want to think, you want to be, put yourself in that mindset right now that you are already monetized, okay? You monetized, baby. They just ain't, you just ain't been discovered is all that is. We haven't been discovered because I know. Oh, your girl know she gonna be at that uh, two hundred thousand. Your girl know that she gonna hit that two million. Cause I, I, I mean, I, I'm already knowing it. I'm already in that space, right? I'm not intimidated by other YouTubers because they are already in that space where they got two million. I just ain't been discovered. That's all. You know, my time is coming. That's what you need to keep in mind, okay? Your time coming. You just chill. You be consistent. Good thumbnails. Good content. Be informative, though. Don't come on here without giving some type of information to people. Like, that's what people come to YouTube for. They come for information. You can't give them that. You better have some real good content. Like, anything that you do, it doesn't matter what it is. It's going to be informative. Even if it's vlogs, you do daily vlogs. It's informative. People get to see your daily life. Like, people like that, okay? They want to see how you live. Give them that. Y'all don't play, okay? This is your content, your channel right and it's called channel your channel for a reason because it's yours so you want to make sure that you stand out you gotta you gotta stand outside from the rest right that's what we're gonna, I, i'm i'm all over the place but i want y'all to get this this good information right and i'm just thinking this off the top of my head so when i got monetized y'all i got monetized in june 21st june 19th uh it delayed my my checks got delayed because i didn't know how to do the uh adsense and i had put a couple of accounts up in there so it got delayed right once i got it um once i got my check i set my account up um did i set up as a business account because i'm starting off off the back you want to make sure that you set it up as a business because this is a business right so you can also file your taxes for your business right um but my first check i received from youtube was a whopping 235 dollars yeah it was good i mean i was like baby i've been up here doing this for free yeah man for free i will definitely definitely take it now because I had that I had that video that did 44,000, which that video was, 
you know, the month was almost gone at that point, right? Um, so I didn't get, you know, I, I, I at that point, once I was able to be monetized, I had already had 30,000 views on that channel. So, you know, it wasn't nothing but like maybe like 10 or 12,000 views counted for, you know, my my watch hours and you know the the commercial aspect of you know being played on your videos um so that's why my check was 235 dollars now this is this now my second youtube check i ended up getting paid 135 dollars um which is why you want to grind if you plan on doing this you gotta grind you gotta be innovative you have to do what nobody else is doing and beat them to the punch. Okay? Beat them to the punch. You got to really think outside the box. Because you want your videos, whatever you're going to do, you want your videos to be right there at the top. Front row and center. And the most views, I guarantee you, if you have the more, the more views you have, people are going to want to click on your stuff because it says, okay. This is a light video, not to mention it's going to push you in the algorithm more, you know, more often than not than somebody that has 20 views on it, which that person that may have, their content may be better than yours, but because that algorithm is pushing yours because the more you get views, the more the algorithm is going to push you. That's what you want to do. You want to stand outside the box and you want to do what nobody else is doing and you want to, you want to beat your niche group, the group of niche, whatever you're doing. You want to beat them to the, you want to beat them so that, okay, she came out first. He came out first. He did it first. Like, yeah, I want, and people look, not only that, that you set a, you set a tone for your, for your niche too, because then people look to see what you going to do. What's your opinion? How you going to play on this? Like that's people come to, come look to see, okay. I know what time it is. I'm going to go and look at them because they always going to give me good reviews. They always going to give me, they, they, their videos are very informative. You know, they're good. Like they trust you, right? You want to build that trust with your, 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 um, your, your family. They, y'all, y'all, my subscribers are not my subscribers. My subscribers are my family, right? Whatever you choose to call your, your, your subscribers, you know, on you, but, um, Come on. Okay, so with that being said, you want to make sure to 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 also um, utilize everything that YouTube has to offer. Okay, let me say this again. Utilize everything YouTube has to offer. If YouTube says use the community tab, you use the community tab. If YouTube says use shorts, you use the shorts. You have to figure out in a collaboration how you want to do things with me. Um, I don't do as many vlogs. Um, let me not say. So I don't do as uh, long content vlogs as I used to anymore because I like to do more views. I like to just get on there and just talk my mess. You know, that's what I do. I get on there and talk my mess. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't like that's what I do, right? And I get on up to do a review on about any and every doggone thing, okay? Um, but on my shorts, though, what I do is I show people another aspect of me. And you don't have to give. You can give as much as you like, right? But I show people another aspect of me. So I do vlogs, little small, little mini vlogs of, you know, my day. I really, right now, I'm doing um, a weight loss journey. So I get on there and, you know, all day you may see, you know, me doing exercises. I'm I'm doing motivational, like, uh, videos with me going through, you know, this weight loss journey and me becoming a vegan, which is a beast in itself, you know? It's a beast. Um, and then on my, my, um, my community tab, you know, I get on there and talk about my, you know, what I got going on. Or I really, I really... <laughs> Um, hats off to my my family, right? I'm I'm, I'm gonna show my butt on my family, um, because if it's not if it wasn't for y'all, I couldn't be sitting up here talking about how I might be monetized. Like, hats off 
to my family for supporting me, sharing my videos. Y'all, y'all know I love y'all. Because, period. We ain't never got to meet. And y'all, y'all, my peeps, right? We ain't never got to meet. Blood don't make us family, right? It's the love and support that make you family. Um, So, on my community tabs, and I'll definitely shout out, you know, my the family members. Um, I get on there and do motivational, like, things as well. Like, you know, I just do whatever. I may get on there and talk about, you know, uh, someone that passed away, especially celebrity stuff. It's just, uh, just a roundabout of everything on the community post, right? So, you need to do something that, that, that fits for you. Um, I would highly suggest though, if you're going to get in those shorts, you want to make sure that you're not just putting out just one or two videos of shorts, right? You got to be consistent with it because at this point, you it's, it's three ways with YouTube that you, not, let me not say three, it's four ways with YouTube that you can be able to get out there even more. So with one, you're doing, um, your videos, but then there's, you can share those videos onto other platforms as well. That's two. Then there is the YouTube Shorts. That's three, where people can then discover you that aren't that don't know you or anything about your channel, right? So that's another place where you can you know put yourself out there, and people can go and click and say, okay, I like them. Let me go ahead and subscribe. And it's easier just to look at a little thirty second video, and boom, hit that subscribe button, right? Four is the community tab because community tab is up there for everybody. You're going to go through, you're going to see a thousand one different posts from other folks. And that's, if you like something, you're going to subscribe to it. Then you're going to go back and see, you know, the content that they did prior to. So it's a lot of ways that you can do this YouTube thing, right? You don't even have to do long content. You can do short content and do only specifically only short content and get good views off and be monetized very well like people that have their jobs are youtube strictly off of short term i mean uh short content which is shorts on youtube right so it's a lot of ways that you can get this money consistency authenticity um being persistent not being scared um and finding a niche make sure you got good thumbnails um good titles and getting hitting that getting that way before it really sets off you gotta know when it's coming and jump on it at the right time right before everybody get on and i promise you you only need one video to take to take you viral you only need one you only need one video that's going that will take you from 75 subscribers to 2000 subscribers. You hear me? Don't give up. Don't be discouraged because everybody got to go through it. And it don't matter what the other person's struggle was. It don't matter what they did or didn't have to do. This your story. This what you got to go through. Stick with it, manifest it, believe it, know that you if you believe it, you're going to achieve it and see it through. Now mark my words. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to my uh my 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 two million cause I yeah because I'm like that because I said that two million is what I will be getting soon because I'm gonna work hard at it. All right. I just wanna give y'all a little info on you know I run my mouth like 40 going off. Some people don't like it, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's the end of this video. I just want to give y'all that little info on, you know, how you can get your YouTube channel monetized. Um, I just want to give y'all some encouragement on not being deterred. Don't be, you know, feeling like, you know, it's not going to work for you. Because when you least expect it, it's going to happen for you. And I don't care if it's a year, 10 years, 20 years. But in, in retrospect as well, don't keep doing the same content. And it's not working for you, okay? If you see that you got some good content coming up or you, you like doing vlogs, but vlogs is only get you five, six views and here you are doing um, makeup or here you are doing videos and those videos are getting you two, three hundred. Hey, hey, put that vlog on hold until you can get you enough subscribers where you can go back to that and then go ahead and jump on that makeup and jump on them games until you can get to where you want to. And then, 
easily transition your subscribers into vlogs again okay you just gotta watch that watch some analytics okay to see what works for you oh uh, yeah that's the end of this video y'all thanks for watching bye